And now a story only on 10. A former local school principal prepares to go to court to get his good name back. It all began when Ricky Ely was charged in a crash in Petersburg. He was forced to step down at Bertie High School, and then the charges were tossed, leaving him with nothing. And your size, Jason Marks, with the looming lawsuit tonight, Jason. Tom, this is a big one. The Ely's are asking for a lot of money, but they say there's no way to get back what they lost after that crash. I go up and I'm literally standing in front of the judge for about 30 seconds. The DA looked at the evidence and said to the judge, we want to withdraw all charges. Ricky Ely says those charges changed everything. He's now suing the officer who charged he and his wife. None of this had to happen because the charges were, were bogus. October 2015, Ely and his wife were in Petersburg. According to court paperwork, the driver of a car ran a red light hitting the Ely's. It goes on to say Officer Brian Allen was investigating the crash and was getting upset because he couldn't figure out who was at fault. He even told the Ely's if they didn't change their story, there would be consequences. My wife calls me and says that um, there were two Suffolk police officers at the door with warrants from Petersburg for my arrest. Both Ely's were charged with felony hit and run, though Ricky wasn't even driving. They were also charged with filing a false police report. It was just a, a media storm. It was a, you know, it was, it was starting to snowball into a huge negative um, story. Ely was the principal at Bertie High School and was told he was going to be fired because of the charges. He instead decided to resign. The Ely's are now going after Allen. They say when he charged them, their civil rights were violated. The lawsuit claims the husband and wife sustained severe emotional distress and mental anguish. They also say the incident ruined their good name and caused financial losses. They're suing Officer Allen for $12 million. They since have had their records expunged. And the Ely's attorney told us that the officer's actions have consequences and they look forward to trying this case. We tried several ways to get in touch with Officer Allen today, but had no luck. A trial date has not yet been set. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.